Hey everybody, it's me, Pam Dragon Moon Creations. Welcome back to my channel. I couldn't see if my if it was recording. Um, I've been making more um, Halloween cards. I made four more this evening. Again, four simple four simple cards took me two hours, but um, this time I had a little help. I have been watching uh, for inspiration, watching more videos, but I took. Uh, inspiration I printed out these card layouts this was this is operation right home and there's several of them here I did I did a couple with this inspiration right here you're gonna see it's not exactly the same but these are just to inspire <laughs> and then I did a couple really simple ones I cheated I just used the the um, the cut aparts from the collection. I'm going to show you the collection. It's kind of got paper sticking out all over it. This is a very old collection. This is from 2013 and it is a recollections of course. It I got it on clearance for $3.99 and I don't know when I got it. This says 2013. I probably got it the next year or the year after that. And uh, I had cut into it once before and I don't know why but uh, it has a lot of cut aparts and I did use I did cut these apart I used a couple of these I've got some more here to use but there's there's two sheets of the cut aparts and then there was um, there's a, a couple of sheets of this these are you know and you can actually use these as as the sentiment kind of thing or if you want words on it and Let's see, there was another, yeah, they've got um, journaling cards in it. And then, where is it? And then they've got this. These are, I must, I think this is a, a cut apart, the cut aparts for borders. I think it's a border strips, but it's kind of hard to see any definition. Or maybe you could just cut it out, I don't know. But it had some really pretty papers in it. Uh, big bold of course not really for card making this couldn't use any of that for card making unless you want to cut the owl out but this over here is really pretty you know this is you could use this part but I don't know it take an awfully big card to get that uh, image on there I did use some of this and some of that but uh, not on a page of that some of that but there's tons of it in here and that's really pretty I don't even like stripes that well but I think that's pretty it's gonna it's gonna take some time to get through it the covers already falling off because the glue on it is so old um, let me move that out of the way I did use um, some black cardstock and that was it black cardstock these are the card bases I used this time or a paper studio the four by five and a half inches and I don't know what these are sized for I, they may be sized for the larger cards I don't know um, I do yeah five and a quarter by four maybe not no these are for the small but I was having that's five and a half so maybe that is a larger card maybe it's all of them but it doesn't tell you when you print it out, I download just downloaded. This is just 75 of them. I downloaded it uh, from their website, and then I did get uh, download some of the Queen and Company that I liked. I thought I might use. I wanted something with banners. I haven't tried that yet, but and I I have the this. What is that? Hexagon? Is that a yeah? Hexagon. And there's some more banner ones, but and this doesn't give you any dimensions at all. But you can, you know, you can. It's just an inspiration. You can just adjust your measurements. I use these, and I have a bunch of these. I have a bunch of card bases. What in the world was I thinking? I think I was afraid I was going to run out. Okay, these were the first two that I did that were real simple. Um, I just I did layer the layers. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning they're plain inside I, I'm learning that the layering is really important layering can make a simple card like this look like you know have a lot of depth but it was just the cut apart it did have a border around it that I didn't care for so I cut down real close to this it has a sparkly I don't know if you can see the sparkly on it this backed it in the black and then I put the the band behind it 
the spider web paper. There's actually spiders on there, but I kept covering them up with my with my cinnamon. It's really stiff. It's it is really stiff. So many layers. And then this one again. I thought um, this was a corner rounder, and it actually was something like a picture thing. And I I went, oh well, I'll just go with it. <laughs> it rounds the corner, yeah, but it also makes the little the little slot for pictures. So, and I put a little bit. Um, this is a larger pattern of what is behind the card. So I did that. I did uh, stamp some of my um, my uh, you know. Well, you can see what it is. I can't think of the word. It's been a long day. Uh, so I did those two. And then I got a little more creative. One of the page has cut apart now, if I can find them, it had a whole a whole page of these tiny little. I may even cut those out. It had, and it's like it's got the banner here, and it was a whole page of them, and it had tiny little um, tags. So I made two, like that, and that this one I did get the inspiration from this from this one right here. And that's, what is that, uh, Operation Ride Home, sketch number 39. So, I did that. Let's see, this one was first. Of course, you always learn on the first one, which what well, you're not supposed to do. But, uh, well, that turned out kind of neat. Lots of layers. I did back the little, um, the little tags on some black cardstock so they wouldn't totally blend blend in with this back here. They do blend in with this, but I, did, I couldn't put anything on that band, or uh, kind of like a belly band on the card. Couldn't really put anything on that because it would, then it would really be busy. And then this one is just the uh, rest of the tags that were in that row. And I just I just glued them down on some black card so I can cut around them. So they're, real, they're not perfect. And there's nothing inside, but like I said, boy, there's so many layers on there. It's like they're stiff as a board. So anyway, those were the cards that I did this time around. And they, uh, they're they the smaller ones. They're not like those big ones that I did the other day. But I'm, uh, I'm enjoying creating. And uh, probably maybe tomorrow or Thursday I'll try another round. It, it's like... I sit back here and my back starts to hurt. Like I said, two hours. It was two hours. By the time I figured out what the heck I was doing. Like I said, simple, a little bit more complicated. But all of this is from the paper pad. It, I'm not... I, I want to use this paper pad because there's... It's so old and there's so much of it. And it is really pretty. Okay, well, um, that's my second round of cards. Um, oh, I do want to tell you that uh, um, I used... Not only did I use ATG and Aileen's uh, tacky glue, but I also, since these were so, uh, they were heavy, but also that this has got like that slick, this has got, you can see that it's got that slick vinyl like coating that I did glue this down with uh, uh, fabric tap. All right, well, okay, everybody, um, thank you for watching, and I'll come back on here with another, another round of cards. All right, thanks, and I will talk to you later. Bye.